Uh, hello everyone, this is another uh, Start Pro Connect Edition tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a backlink analysis. So, backlink analysis is quite important for the uh, structure and specifically for the brief pairs. Uh, so, when we understand that uh, when uh, a column or a structure will backhoe, so because the backhoe is mostly in the column, so in case the, the column is failed in the structure, so that entire structure will collapse. So this is very important, and the calculation is for that critical load when the column or a specific uh, pair or bridge pair will backhoe is this one, p squared times ei divided by square l. So that ei is uh, depends the section of the column section of the column and L is the height of that column and after that we determine that the critical load then we will get the, the backlink factor so that backlink factor always should be greater 1.5 or 2 in case in when we have a critical loading on the structure so that that backlink factor always should be 1.5 or 2 to 3 as much as uh, this speckling factor is larger so the structure is more stable now uh, so that P is uh, equal to the uh, apply the load or coming uh, load from the upper storage to the bottom column and so the that the P critical load is getting here so now we only do an example we can uh, simply uh, even verify uh, an, an, an example with this equation or we can conduct uh, an example of backlink analysis in, in Start Pro, which we utilize a entire frame structure as well as we have two type of uh, backlink analysis one is called iterative method we will give a number of iterative that a program should iterate and find the convergence uh, backlink factor uh, back backlink factor and then we also have called eigen method so eigen method will utilize the mood shape of the structure and then the first mood shape will utilize and get that factor t so the let's suppose this is a little uh, uh, slower and this is a little uh, faster uh, we also we could go to here and create a project it's called backlink analysis and using metric units, let's create uh, wizard. So simply create wizard. And now frame model. I'm gonna make it. Uh, I can add a two D or three D. Uh, let's suppose it be a very simple structure. Let's see. Uh, this is the length of the structure, six meters, and the number of uh, length is one. So the height is two, two, uh, six meters equal two stories. So I'm gonna zero and apply. So two story uh, structure. Now I can go to the property and define a section. I'm using a rectangular, so 0 0.3, 0 0.3. So the concrete and I go to the so I'm going to assign these things, properties, assigned to the view entire structure. So the beam column is in the same size. If I go to the rendering, you can see it here. Now we go to the material. So the material is uh, concrete, which has these properties. And next, I'm going to define a support. Create a new support. And here is, I can uh, select this node and this node is assigned and the support is assigned and here is the important thing, part is loading so I can create a load uh, let's say uh, it's called uh, uh, backlink load backlink load and add it so now uh, here I want to add a node load it's going to be node load and in a gravity direction minus uh, 100k 100k so I'm gonna add 
this in the top of the structure so let's suppose this come from the uh, top of floors or uh, gravity loads now assign to the selected node now we added this gravity load or buckling load and we want analysis in the analysis command here you come to create perform buckling analysis so the first one is iteration method the second is eigen method so you can consider eigen method so the program automatically consider the first mode shape otherwise we're using iteration so let's suppose we want to get maximum the program can utilize maximum 20 iteration but we will reach the result uh, maybe in the 15 so we can uh, say a uh, number of iteration 20 and we want to get some other data as well now uh, we are done here we can run the analysis now the analysis is uh, running and it's quite fast i'm going to view output and you can see the buckling iteration first so you can come to here and 15 maximum is 15 so that 15 can uh, converge so you will see this a message converged so the last one is here you can see between these three iteration is quite similar so the program will stop so this one is list now you can get this backlink factor is one uh, ten point 10.0039 or almost 10.1 so the 10.1 we applied 100 kilonewtons here and if we times 10 times we can 1000 kilonewtons so the, the this column will totally uh, back up when we applied 1000 kilonewtons so uh, but in the entire structure so it will be because two column three twice we can go back down and you can see here here is the total uh, applied load which we with the program utilize this factor so when get this factor and apply it times by the applied load so the total became 2000 kilonewton so the entire structure in a y direction required 2000 kilonewtons to the extract to structure back now you can uh, do the same things yeah the same things for the uh, single column pairs or the entire structure in the 2d 3d method so this is the uh, end of the tutorial if you have any, any question please put in the comment and i'll find time to answer you see you next time